lots of good times in NXT. Man, one of my favorite was uh, you and Santos Escobar beating the living shit out of each other all over the place. That was a blast. I think for a lot of people that, like, it, it may have changed the perception of just one of Triple H's guys that he likes to, oh, this guy's fun. This guy is going to do some cool stuff. And that was a blast. Please, please tell me what the process of that was. Because, I mean... That's something, I don't know how meticulous you go into planning something like that, but, man, that was, to me, that was such a fun match to watch. I was very excited for that day, man, because, you know, with that, it, it breaks up the monotony of just the regular matches. You know, we're going no D2 now, and there's many people involved. Uh, that was a fun day, one of my favorite days at NXT, actually. And, yeah, we worked all over the place. I wanted to throw the pickaxe to the window, but they were afraid I might hit him to the other side. So yeah. like, just, you're like, can you throw the pickaxe to the door? And I was like, yes, I fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fuck. Yeah, I can. Um, that was a blast, man. Uh, putting all of that together, really fun. And I felt like that was as we were going in that direction, because Legato Fantasma had so much heat at that time that began to turn me baby face, which for me was confusing because I thought they wanted me to be the antichrist. So, but that was fun. And I'll tell you, working so many years as a baby face before WWE, I totally took advantage of being able to feel and hear the crowd be with you. And, you know, then the crowd gets removed. Then they get plugged back into the building for that match and to feel them with me for that match, that brought me to life again on like another level that was missing for a long time. It felt really good. And I, I kind of had um, free range to kind of be a baby face in that situation. You got beat up by three guys. Yes. So, you know, it did, it did muddy the water a little bit moving forward, um, whether cross was a baby face or heel, but we got them back on the track after that. I had to be heel again, but that was so much fun to do that, um, to be able to play with the weapons and power bombing people into the boards. It was awesome. Well, it's one of my favorite uh, NXT moments of, of the pandemic era. I thought it was great. And it took us out of the normal setting that we see. And also, nobody got kidnapped in the parking lot, which is a first for NXT. 